Hello, hello, it's me again and it's time for Revolution Pie. Our topic of today is not red, but before, what is not red? I'm here to let you know. So, not red is a wonderful local tool. If you want to perform control tasks without much programming or you want to receive info from other controls or sensors and transfer it to the cloud. So today we will learn together how to deal with the node red. Let's start! So all what you need is just a Wi-Fi device and your Ethernet cable to connect to your network. For me I'm using the connect. So open your browser enter your IP address, in my case, this is my IP address and then 41080 to be in the factory because first of all we need to be in factory okay I'm in but okay, look out so the username is admin and of course enter your password so go to services and enable the node red and node red server save all so now you have to choose between even you enter to factory to not read from factory just start or you can put your IP address with 1880 the port to be in the not read so now we are in here is all our nodes so the, all those nodes are you can use a tutorial with all your Wi-Fi devices I repeat, really important, all those nodes you can use it with all our Wi-Fi devices. So, we have from them a lot, a lot, a lot. But please, before, caution, 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 it's really, really, really important. So, something I need to clarify. By default, there is absolutely no security feature activated in the node red anyone who is in the same network can open it and do whatever they want on your pipe in order to make secure see the link securing node red in the video description and get in touch with your network administrator okay so as a start we want to use a value from the process image of the pi so the single input can do this so double click choose the server by default it's the localhost i8000 so and now as you can see here the p that uh, you have it already as input for example in our case i want to choose the uh, uh, temperature so any input that you add it in factory or rename it, you will have it here as input in node red. Okay, so to see to see the result, we need the debug. So here we have the debug. Connect to each other and deploy. As you can see, the temperature here is 50 okay then now we want it, it, it repeat every sec every I think 10 seconds or how much send the new result so every 30 to be unsafe and 51 50 48 it depends from how much second they send the okay the message okay now we will go to the multi multi input when you have more than one input 
you can add this go double click choose the local host and directly you can see your pins input pins so in my case i want to choose the core frequency and temperature you can choose as you want ju just an example so done and for it we needed a bug i will remove this and add this and then as you can see here here we have two inputs that mean we will have an object in which there is two results the core temperature and the core frequency both of them so um we have also the repy output the output when we will do like double click we will have also the host name and you can you will see all the um, pins that you have like output but what is in fact the uh, output everything that can be written factory of course you will store it and written and see see it see it here with the control function so all your output you can just configure it uh, here and the last one that we have it's rock pie get pin so this we can use for certain action for example for reading a pin to trigger trigger it with uh, a flow of course you need the the local host the server and that's it it's really simple how to deal with the node red. Today it's video as a start, and on the our next video we can be deep on node red. I'm very happy to be with me today, and see you soon, 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 soon on our next videos. Ciao, ciao.